Okay, welcome to the next video, Lesson 6 on HTML5 JavaScript. <clears throat> what we're going to be doing on this video is showing an application of variables. <clears throat> if you recall in our last video, we introduced variables. Here is the browser that I've got, <clears throat> and I've got two buttons on it. One is prompt, and the other one is alert. Let me click on the prompt button here. I'm going to click on that. And this one here says, what is your name? I'm going to put in Mr. Uh, Mr. Dude, how's that for a name? D-U-D-E. You can put in anything you want to here. And I'm going to click OK. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the alert button here in the browser. I click on alert and it says, welcome to HTML5, Mr. Dude. Okay, now I could have put anything I wanted to in there. Let me put my prompt again. And what is your name? Let's just say it's Harry. H-A-R-R-Y. Okay. I'll put that in there, and now I'll do the alert again, and it says, Welcome to HTML5, Harry. So what we see is our browser is capable of remembering things. So let's see how that happened. Let's take a look at the uh, code in Notepad. What I've got here, let's look down here at the bottom. There's my two buttons, my two buttons that I had. I had one uh, that was called Prompt and another one called Alert. And there's the two buttons, Prompt and Alert, okay? And so that's just a standard HTML. Input type equals button. The value is what you're going to see on the button. On click for prompt, it says do prompt. And on click for alert, it says do alert. So I've got two separate functions up here in the script tag. If I look up here, here's the script tag. And I have one function that says do prompt. And it says name equals prompt. What is your name? So I declared a variable called name. And it's being set to whatever is inside prompt. Well, let's see what is inside prompt. If I click on this, what comes up here is something for me to type in. So whatever I type in here, that's going to become the value of that variable name. Okay? So if I type in, um, uh, let's say, Joe, and I do that, now name has the value of Joe. Okay, so let's see what that what that means. That means right here that name is now has the value of Joe. So when I click on do alert, which is the second button, here's the alert. Welcome to HTML5 space, and I'm concatenating name. Well, what is the value of na name now? The value of name is Joe. And so when I click on the alert button here, it will sh should say, fingers crossed, should say welcome to HTML5 Joe. So what we're seeing here is one of the advantages of using variables. Using variables uh, allows the user to input things into the browser for the browser to remember what those things are and then to use those things later on. So obviously this kind of a feature is extremely valuable for making uh, games uh, or other kind of interactivity in HTML5. Uh, Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.